All right, so as always, take it with a grain of salt, and um, I'm just going to be covering what has not been revealed, and um, and I'm also going to be covering from DC Multiverse all the way to DC Direct, so mostly everything that my friend um, has for DC. Uh, so first off, here we, here we have is for DC Multiverse, is Christopher Reeve Superman figure, uh, which, like I said previously in my video, uh, this is a figure that people have really wanted to get, and it looks like my friend has finally listened to the fans. Um, so we are finally going to get a Christopher Reeve Superman. And from what I see so far, this is going to be a normal release, so nothing exclusive or anything like that. Uh, but talking about exclusives, this one will be an exclusive, and it's the Tumblr camouflage version. Uh, we already saw the black, the black uh, version of the Tumblr uh, with Lucius Fox. I don't know if this one is also going to come included with a figure or not. But all I know is that it's a gold labeled. Uh, but I don't know what um, what to, what store is going to be ex exclusive to. Um, but honestly, it's funny. It's funny that this, I made a joke about it. Well, people made a joke. That this thing was coming for April's Fools, <laughs> but now it looks like it's actually coming, and it's funny that it's in the same month uh, that we made the joke of for this um, Batmobile. Uh, but in talking about Bat more Batmobiles, here we have is also the Batman Forever Batmobile, uh, which this one looks pretty cool, and hopefully it lights up. Hopefully, I doubt it will, but hey, I I I will pay extra for. A Batmobile like this that lights up, which will be pretty damn cool. Also for the Batman Forever, um, here we have is the Robin um, Bat Cycle or Robin Cycle, however you want to call it. And it looks like a pretty cool cycle to have. Um, obviously because Batman Forever and I, I believe Batman and Robin were intended for to sell better toys. Um, so if my friend does a great job with these, I'm pretty sure people are, are going to be hyped for this. Um, Batmobile and the uh, and the cycle. Also, continuing with the live action, here we have is Batman Begins. Um, now this one might might be included with the Batmobile. Um, but I'm not sure with the Tumblr. Um, uh, but it, I believe I got told that it's gonna be a single release figure. Um, but with my friend, you never know. They might include it there just so people buy the the Tumblr again, because I know people have been really wanting to get a uh, Batman Begins. Figure and that that just might be the way my friend plays it, uh, but hopefully not. Hopefully this is just a um, uh, a a single release Batman. Um, and another figure that um, my friend was apparently working on was the Batman armor from Batman vs Superman. Uh, apparently it got scrapped, but um, hopefully they could pick it up again since uh, this year they released the normal the normal version of Batman. Um, and I'm pretty sure they they will, since I believe the Ben Affleck Batman did so very well. Um, so, and this is one of my favorite uh, live action Batman armor. So, hopefully we do get him this year. Uh, but like I said, this was a scrapped um, figure they were working on, which we don't know why they they stopped making it, but they did. But like I said, hopefully they can re uh, release him today. Th this year, I mean. Now for TV show here we have is the '90s Flash TV show, uh, which is I believe it's also the one that people have really wanted to get. Um, I believe the DC Multiverse Mattel from uh, this '90s TV show is going for big money for some reason. Um, so I'm glad I'm gonna be. Um, I'm glad that my friend is gonna do this version of Flash. I've, I myself have not watched this um, '90s Flash. But I have seen the actor in the TV show The Flash, which I believe he plays um, Jay Garrick. Um, so hey, I, I'm happy to have this guy in my collection. And as I as far as I know, it's not exclusive or anything like that. So hopefully it stays that way. All right, finally for the live action, here we have is Batman Returns. Now the only thing I have for this uh, possible wave. Uh, is a comment from a friend from a Discord where a fan asked him if we're ever going to get a Batman Returns wave. And all he said was that maybe uh, since the live action figures are selling very well. So um, if I were you, I'll, I'll keep my hopes up since he said maybe. And I'm pretty sure he is um, 
I'm pretty sure he's interested on making it since, like he said, the live action figures are doing very well. Alright, so the, for the comic book, here we have uh, Batman Free Just End. Now, this guy is from the Build a Figure Way from the Batman Beyond, which is pretty weird to see him again since that's the only time we saw him. Um, but nevertheless, he's going to be a glow in the dark. Uh, so, I'm really interested in how they're going to plan on doing that with this figure. And obviously, it's going to be a gold labeled. Alright, next up, here we have one that is a bit confusing to me. So if you know if you know anything from for this, uh, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, but this one just says the Joker, uh, Frostbite from the three Jokers. Um, obviously it's from the it's, it's one of these three Jokers, but it doesn't specify which one it is. Like the comedian, uh, I forgot what, what the other two were. <laughs> um, but honestly, I think I'm more leaning to the comedian one, the one that looks like the from the Batman Killing Joke. Uh, since the Frostbite usually are uh, GameStop exclusives. And that guy was a GameStop exclusive. So I'm more leaning into over him, um, to him. Uh, but I guess we will have to wait and see which one it is. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a gold label. GameStop exclusive. Pretty sure since the Batman, the Batman one was a GameStop exclusive. Alright, now for Mega Figures. Here we have is... Uh, I believe this Batman suit is called Rookie. Um, and um, so yeah, <laughs> I really don't don't I really don't know much about it. I've seen it in a comic uh, that I read, but uh, honestly, I didn't know what the heck uh, this was. I believe it's James Gordon the one controlling this uh, this suit. Uh, but yeah, please let me know down in the comments uh, about this guy. But apparently, we're we are supposed to be getting this guy. Um, another mega figure that I think what people like is Darkseid from DC Classics. Um, and we will be talking about him more later to the, into this video. Uh, now going back to the normal figures here we have is Ragman. Which honestly, the only reason I know him is because of the CW Arrow. Which he appeared uh, just for a bit. I think he got removed for some reason. <laughs> uh, but that's the only Ragman I know. Uh, and based on what I'm seeing here in the comic, he kind of looks like Spectre. Um, so don't, I won't be surprised if they use some stuff on Spectre for this figure. Obviously, it's not gonna, it's not look, it's not gonna look the same, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna um, borrow some stuff from that figure. All right, next up here we have is Mr. Bloom, which is a character that, that I think most people don't know about. So it will be really interesting to see how the DC Multiverse community reacts to this character. Um, since not a lot, not a lot of people know about this guy. Uh, but next one here we have is Clocking, which is an obscure character, and I'm pretty and I'm pretty happy that they're doing a Clocking figure, since the only Clocking uh, person or the character that I know is from the Batman Brave the Bull cartoon. Um, so I'm really excited to see what more friend does. And next up here we have is Agent Liberty, which um, you guys already told me in the previous video was what's. Um, what he's all about so thank you for that um another character here we have is the new 52 superman cyborg superman uh which um, a lot of people are not happy since a lot of them want the classic looking cyber superman but sadly this looks like this is going to be the one that we're going to be getting uh, for right now this one was supposed to be a two pack but apparently it's going to be changing to a single release now so and and it has been pushed back for some reason. This figure was supposed to be coming out like last year. Um, so I wonder why they had to push this guy back. Um, but yeah. Uh, next up here we have is, is Punchline. Which is going to be a 2 pack with the Joker. And if I remember correctly. I believe this was one of our has been wanting to do also. Uh, but don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah we're going to have a 2 pack Punchline. Which, which if my partner makes it. Uh, he will be the first one to make a punchline figure. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next up we have is Batman Line Art. Well, Batman Hush uh, Line Art. Which obviously is going to be just black and white. Um, I don't know what exclusive to is going to be. Obviously it's going to be a gold label. But I don't know what it's, it's going to be exclusive to. Uh, next one here we have is also uh, Red Hood. Which I believe is a Red Hood New 52. It is going to be the frozen version of him. 
nothing much to say. Um, pretty sure it's going to be a GameStop exclusive. Um, also here we have is Vampire Shazam, which is going to be obviously a Walmart exclusive gold labeled. Here now we have uh, Glow in the Dark Killer Croc, which most likely is going to be from the Arkham Asylum Killer Croc. Um, my friend has not forgotten about the Arkham figures, but for some reason he just keeps um, uh, re re repainting them. Um, I, I want more Arkham, uh, Arkham figures. Um, so hopefully, I mean, I, as long as he doesn't forget about those figures, I'm happy, but I want new ones. So, um, so yeah. Uh, next up here we have is a weird one, a gold version of Superman. Um, yeah, the print is maybe all gold. It's probably just going to be like patina or something like that. Well, and here it says gold and silver. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm wondering how this figure is going to be looking. It, it, it might as well be a statue, but <laughs> um, apparently it's a figure. So, yeah. All right, next one here we have is a female female um, figure. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna be excited for this one. It is uh, fire, which kind of weird. They should have just included the other girl, which I believe is called Eyes. Um, so yeah, they, they could have made a two pack um, or just released both of them single release. Um, but I mean, my friend makes some weird decisions. But yeah, we're finally gonna get another female uh, character. Uh, next one here we have is Metallo, which depending on what version they make, I'm pretty sure people are going to be happy about this one. I don't think there's a character, that, there's a version of him that people don't like. Um, you can let me know that in the comments if, you, if there's a version that you don't like. Um, but yeah, it looks like my friend is planning on making Metallo. Um, next one here we have a character from the Flash family, Max Mercury, uh, which honestly, in my opinion, I never heard of him. Uh, so let, let me know down in the comments what, he, uh, what this guy is, so I can be informed just a, a little bit. You don't have to write me a whole freaking essay, I just want to know the basics of this guy. Uh, but I, all I know is that he's part of the Flash family, and that he has speed, obviously. And he has pretty much it, all, that's all I know about him. Uh, now with the, now here we have, we're, now we're going to vehicles. Uh, here we have is Batman the White Knight um, Batmobile. Which looks pretty awesome, so I can't wait for this one to. I can't wait for my friend to make this um, Batmobile. Now going to the video game section, yeah, kind of weird. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have a build a figure wave, which is gonna build supposedly a Dark Side figure, uh, which is is a mega um, Dark Side mega figure, build a figure. I mean, now this video game is called Task Force X, I believe. Just like Task Force X. Uh, and these are going to be including uh, Aquaman, The Flash, Superman, and Batman. Alright, another two pack we're going to be getting is Shazam and Freddy. Uh, these two are probably going to be like a damaged version, um, damaged version suit. I wonder uh, what they're going to do. I, I, they're mostly going to be reusing the previous Shazam um, costume or they might retool and they might make a new one. Um, so, who knows. Uh, apparently we're finally gonna get a Freddy um, Shazam, but Silas might be a damaged version. Um, but yeah, uh, next one here we have is Mr. Miracle. Mr. Miracle. Last time I said Mr. Fantastic, I know I got a freak a bunch of comments saying why did I say Mr. Fantastic. Uh, my bad. I don't know why I say Mr. Fantastic, but <laughs> this character is called Mr. Miracle, and this figure um, um, is supposedly coming out is. I'm saying supposedly because when McFarlane says that um, he wants to make a figure like Ambush Bug, that one came true. This is also one that McFarlane wants to make. So I'm 80% sure that this guy will also come out um, sooner or later. Alright, now going to the collector's edition. Here we have this Wonder Woman. And she's going to have the color Accent. Uh, the, the same color that Red Hood had. Um, that was limited edition also, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to look that, like this comic book cover, kind of, sort of, not 100%, but um, it, will have just, it will have like this kind of style, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it looks like my friend is trying to bank from Wonder Woman, which, as he, as he should, since it's a pretty great uh, Wonder Woman figure and a lot of people have been really um, trying to fight over it. <laughs> Alright, next up we have is Red Hood, 
continue with the collector's edition. Here we have his red hood. Um, honestly, I don't know if this guy this guy's gonna come with included with guns. Like I said, uh, if uh, Agent Sar Sergeant Rock does come with guns, and I believe he's part of the collector's edition. If he does, which already got revealed, like I said, if he does, uh, he if he comes with guns, then most likely Red Hood will come with guns. So fingers crossed. And now that's pretty much it for DC Multiverse. We're now going into the animated series. So first off, here we have I believe it's a, it's a two pack, um, Bruce, old Bruce Wayne with Ace the Bat Hound, which sadly, uh, based on what I'm seeing right here, they will not be included in the Batman Beyond figure, sadly. Uh, but next one here we have is Bane, which I believe is a solo release and not like the one we saw, uh, McFarlane revealed. Uh, also here we have is Catwoman. I'm just gonna speed through these. Um, so yeah, here we have is Nightwing, Joker, and uh, oh look, oh, oh look, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, so now we're going to superpowers. Um, here we have is. Batman with his really bad and uh, uh, bad wing, which all of them are gonna be uh, recolored um, into black, so everything's gonna match, I guess. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a three pack. Uh, next one here we have another three pack. It's gonna be co coming included with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. And continuing with the superpowers, here we have is Booster Gold. Now with these ones, I'm I, I'm truly gonna speed up since um I don't have I don't have much to say about these guys, um so yeah booster gold, so here we have his Metamorpho, Guy Gardner, um Batman from the Dark Knight Returns, Black Manta with this time is gonna he's gonna come through with his classic suit, uh the black and the I guess silver, and the Max Flesher Superman which this one surprised me the first time. Uh, since I grew up with this Superman, I didn't grow up with uh, the Superman animated series. This was the Superman I grew up with, so I'm pretty I'm happy that they're um, at least doing something with this guy, with this kind of Superman. Um, or right, now for statues, here we have a Superman and Flash, which I believe both of the both of these are from Jim Lee. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Flash is Jim Lee, but I'm not really sure about Superman. Um, but yeah, we're supposed to be getting, um, these two guys as statue forms, which I believe these are the poses they're going to be coming with. Uh, but like I said, don't call me on that. All right. Now moving to the Batman 66 line. Here we have is a gold labeled, um, Batmobile, which will come included with a Joker figure. I won't be surprised if this Batmobile will be a Jokerized Batmobile, um, since it will be coming included with the... With a Joker figure. Uh, next one here we have is Bookworm, which I'm sure this is based off the um, TV show and not the comic book. And talking about comic book, um, here we have is Nightwing. Uh, now this one it is based off the comic book since we never saw him uh, become Nightwing in the TV show. And finally but not least, here we have is Alfred, which this time. He will, he will be normal Alfred, nothing like um, nothing like the one we got from Bam, uh, Alfred dressed as Batman figure. Um, and it looks like this will be the first time we my friend is going to be making an Alfred figure. Sadly, it is going to be a, uh, one of those 6 inches, so you won't be able to um, put it with a 7 inch DC Motivers figure. Uh, and since they're very different to the DC Motivers versions. But hey, I'm, at least I'm happy that they're going to be including a Alfred figure. And just to end up, Batman City 6 line, um, Marfani has also been wanting to make a Adam West Batman 7 inch. Which hopefully he does so we can have all the popular live action Batman uh, in our collection. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if this is the longest video I have made. Ho hopefully it is. I don't know. I, it took me very long to make this video for some reason. It shouldn't have, but... It, it did took me a long time and it looks like I missed one uh, I missed the two pack with Bane versus Batman Nightfall um, so if you were if you were just here for the DC Motivers, uh then you just probably missed out on the <laughs> on this two pack that I'm going to be mentioning right now um, from what I know uh, the apparently it's going to be a different Bane we'll, mo we'll, 
most likely is going to be the same size as the one we got previously got that people have been um, really wanting to get. It's, free, it's going for like a hundred bucks already. Um, and apparently the Batman figure it will be most likely the same night Batman Nightfall figure we have been getting, which now we're getting a black and gray version. And most likely this one will be coming with uh, damage, like battle damage. And it looks like that's pretty much it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. And if I did, I'm sorry. I'll probably leave it in the description in a freaking comment or in the community tab. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and can you do me a favor? Just leave me 300, 300 likes. 300 likes, that's all I'm asking for. And I'll be happy with that. I'll keep making more of these kind of videos. Um, if they keep getting 300 likes. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you want to know more about the 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 ones that got reviewed, make sure you check out these re videos right here. And with that, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.